Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to create jump through platforms using the physics functions in Game Maker. So these are platforms like you might see in the Super Mario Brothers games where you can jump up through them and then land on them from the top. Okay, to start off with, you're going to want a sprite for your player. Now mine is just called SBR Player. It's a 32 by 32 sprite, just a circle with a line through it. And the line is just so you can see the rotation. Okay, um, sprite platform is just again another 32 by 32 sprite. Um, it's just a square, white square, and that's centered. And then I've got another sprite for the platform called Sprite Platform Solid, and that again is 32 by 32 sprite, and it is just the same old square, but I've put a cross through it as you can see just there. Okay. And again, that's centered. Now, those are all the sprites you'll need. Um, unless, of course, you're building on from this tutorial, but like just for the basic thing, those are all the sprites you need. Okay, anyways, um, as with all my other tutorials using physics, um, we've got the static parent and the dynamic parent, which handles the collisions. And if you haven't seen it before, the code for those two collisions is just a comment saying collision. Okay. Um, first object you want to make for your actual game is OBJ player. Now this has users physics checked and is his parented to object dynamic parent. Okay, um, a circle collision shape as you can see just here, and there's got a bit of code in it. Just quickly, I've had this show up a few times um, when this happened to people. It's happened to me myself every now and then, but I actually worked out how to like fix it. Okay, um. What happens is sometimes if you say just created this object and uses physics wasn't checked and then you went ahead and checked that just assumed that the um, collision shape would be set automatically for you which in pretty much every case it is but every now and then you might go, go through that just assume it's all done and then go to play a game and then Game Maker will give you an error saying something about the collision shape. Now to fix this, or to get around this, pretty much all you've got to do is just click modify collision shape and then hit OK. And then if you get in the error, that should get rid of it. Okay, now I'll just quickly show you the code for this. Okay, so it's just a few variables in the create event for the player. We've got speed is 500, so that is my rotation force. And then we've got jump is 150, and that's the impulse force that I apply when jumping. And then we've just got right left and jump for my controls. Okay, now in the step event, it's just really simple, if keyboard check right, physics apply torque, SPD, so that's going to spin the object to the right. If keyboard check left, physics apply minus speed, which spins the object left instead of right. And then if keyboard check jump and physics test overlap X, Y plus 1, zero for the angle and then object platform solid okay so we've got two well I haven't showed you them yet but you will have two um, platform objects and just for now just write in object platform solid obviously because we haven't made the object yet it's not going to show up like purple or as an object but just write it in anyway okay um then uh, physics apply impulse and X, Y, 0, minus jump. And that's it. Okay, now we can make our platform object. Okay, so as you saw in the code for that one, we had an object platform solid. Um, create that, give it the sprite platform solid sprite, and then tick uses physics, give it a box shape, set its density to 0 and parent that to the object static parent. I'll show you the code in a sec. Okay, then make another object called OBJ platform doesn't use physics and not parented to object static parent and then just I'll leave the code for now. Okay, um object player, I forgot to show you this just before. You might want to set your friction up higher than 0 0.2 I think it's on for default. Um, mine's on 10, and that just allows you to grip the ground burner when you're trying to move. Okay. 
now for the code for our platforms okay so in object platform solid in the step event we have this code here okay if instance exists object player so making sure that our player object is um, in existence in the room um, assuming that it is if object player dot phy position y is higher than phy position y so that's if the player object's y position in the physics world is higher than this platform's um, y position in the physics world then instance create x y object platform which is our second platform object remembering and then instance destroy now you could probably use instance change as well but just out of habit I do it this way so you just create an instance and destroy the one that was there Okay, um, that's it for that. Then in object platform, it's just generally the same kind of thing. So if instance exists, object player, if object player dot phy position y is lower than y minus 32. Now in the last bit of code we had if object player dot phy position y was higher than um, phy position y, blah blah blah. In this one, we're only using Y because this object is not a physics object, which means it does not have the physics variables. Okay, so if object player's Y position is lower than this Y position, minus 32, then instance create X, Y, object platform solid, and instance destroy. And that is it. Okay, so now I'll just show you the game and I'll explain it a bit more too as I've grown it up. Oh, that's something you probably want to do. Okay, um, when placing your objects, um, you can just chuck in object platform or object platform solid. It doesn't matter which platform object you use. Okay, like if you have a look, just hang on a sec, get rid of the grid for you. Alright, so just here I've got these ones are solid, these ones aren't. That'll still all work the same. In fact, I'm going to get rid of those ones. And then I've just got my player object in there as well. And I've just got platforms to jump up through. Yeah, just hit play on that once you've got your room set up. And this is the game here. So you've got right movement, left movement, and you can jump. Now, as you can see, when I jump up past this um, first row of platforms here, as soon as they get above them, they change into the solid version of the platforms. So that way, I can jump up through and it won't collide. And when I get to the top, it does. So again there, and again there. Then as I fall back down, I change back, so I can do it once again. So if you couldn't tell from that, how the game works is because it's got two platform objects, and it can switch between them, that's how we like do the moving through and stuff. So basically, um, object platform is just a prop, so it doesn't really do anything for the game, except just show you that there are platforms there. So the player can't collide with them, it, like nothing can really collide with it at all in the physics world it doesn't even use physics it's just there for visual reasons only okay and then our object platform solid is the one that does all the work so as soon as we jump up above these prop platforms they change into the actual platform and then that's what we land on okay so um in an actual game obviously you're not going to want the changing sprites you're going to want the um, platforms sprites to stay the same. Prob you probably already know how to do this, but I'll show you anyway. Just to get rid of the um, sprite changing. Just change the sprite to the same as the other one. So now my object platform sprite um, is the same as the object platform solid sprite. Then hit play, and you cannot notice the change at all. The game looks fine okay but yep that's how to create um, jump through platforms uh, using the physics functions in game maker uh, hope you learnt something from this tutorial hope you enjoyed it um, subscribe like the video um, like the Facebook page which I link to down in the description so um, yeah if you want to show support like me on Facebook as well, that'd be great. Um, but yeah, good luck with this and.
just yeah good luck with it